come on, come on. Come on, dude. You have got, you have got to be kidding me. Ugh. What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And let me tell you, if this war, if this war is any indication of what Premiere is going to be like, uh, CWL Premiere, uh, for season four, it is going to be a lit season. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, look at the final, look at this war right here. Fortrum Steel, Kahazi Bomber 2, pre-season round three, FFS walking away with a one-star victory, the final, 101 to 100, both sides clearing Town Hall 10s. Uh, we'll go ahead and ch uh, real quick, we'll take a look at what they did. Not a whole lot to look at because almost all the bases were three-starred. Uh, for those of you wondering at home, the breakdown was 5-15-15. Uh, so here we go. So right here, um, they went ahead and two-starred all of our Town Hall 11s and they dipped and or tripled um, our Town Hall 10s. Uh, they did have six 10v10 three stars this war. And of course, uh, their nines completely smashed it. They went 15 for 20, hitting at 75%. And again, this was a 35v35. So right here, if you check this out, the difference of this war, that's why I said what I said to start the video off. If this is any indication of what Premiere is going to be like, this war was decided on a an 11 v 11 three star. There's obviously a lot of other things that happen, but if you if you look at the big picture, um, both sides cleared Town Hall tens. It was a 5 15 breakdown. Both sides cleared Town Hall tens. This was the difference right here. We had an 11 v 11 three star. They did not. Uh, we had uh, a total of two 11 v 11 attempts. Um, this was obviously the uh, successful attack and we had eight 10 v 10 three stars um, But yeah completely lit three of us had um, 10 v 10 six packs myself Zongo and Cody big shout out big shout out uh, to our town hall tens uh, three of us getting six packs uh, So we will be showing one attack from each of ours and then a couple of the other ones We'll show you guys the 11 v 11 three star, but before that uh, we're gonna check out this attack strategy, uh, like you guys saw in a, in a video not too long ago. Uh, hey, look at that! Look at that troll Tesla went to head, went, went went to drop a wizard to take out those two camps. Yes, this is a fresh hit. Uh, ended up dropping a wizard right in the middle of that Tesla farm from hell over there. Uh, but he's gonna go ahead and drop down his CC golem. This is the attack that we featured just a couple videos ago. Um, the CB and or shattered Lalo. Uh, the way it's working at Town Hall 9 right now. So not only do I love the attack strategy, I love the adjustment with when that troll Tesla farm when that troll Tesla farm popped up. He had three Valkyries for the kill squad, decided to drop down two Valkyries to tank the Teslas and then throw in some loons to wipe them out. And look, he still ended up getting the camps funneled with a wizard. Just not the first one. Uh, jump spell down though. We got jump spell down. Uh, Gollum uh, tanking all these defenses in here uh, with the funnel that he set um, on the right hand side on those camps uh, heroes are going to go right inside and you'll see he does not have uh, bowlers he went ahead and brought that max Gollum uh, to provide that extra tank for the heroes uh, was a damage CC went ahead and took out the baby dragon and and you'll see right here uh, just set I mean just completely cut this base in half um, and he went ahead and pops Archer Queen ability, gets the Air Sweeper. Uh, King under ability takes out Enemy Queen. He's going to be starting his Lalo over here on the upper right-hand side, Hound Down. And just dropping in, he's got three nice, healthy packs of loons um, coming across this base. Uh, while all while the Hounds were being tanked, uh, are tanking all the defenses. Drop down two haste, still has one more haste. And one more heal spell to deploy. And yes, the Archer Queen is still alive. Uh, so you want to talk about a cheap, I mean, a cheap kill squad, just using your heroes, 
a few wizards and one golem wiping out about half of the base and he can be nice and patient uh, with this heal spell we'll go ahead and times this don't want the video to get too long we have a lot of attacks uh, that we have to get through uh, but this is clearly going to end in a three star huge shout out to Angus uh, aka Moose you might know him as Moose um, he's coming over from uh, the WHF family, so I want to welcome him aboard. Uh, but that is going to be our Town Hall 9 feature. Not only was it a badass attack, uh, using a really good attack strategy right now at Town Hall 10, or at Town Hall 9, um, but he's also brand new to the clan, so I definitely want to give him some love. This is going to be our first replay, though. Uh, we have Tadpole, going to be, and this was our only Lalo from this war. Didn't do any bitch. Uh, didn't do any bitch attacks, didn't, uh, well, this was the only Lalo, or the only successful Lalo, um, that we had, we got Tadpole, again, using that CC, we're, we're seeing a Max Golem coming out of the CC now, more than ever before, it seems like, anyway, um, but yeah, you're gonna get good value from, the, I mean, it's, they just seem to last forever, even the Golemites, uh, but so, again, set a cheap funnel with just a few wizards, uh, I'm gonna go ahead pop king, uh, pop king ability. It's another damage CC has a poison uh, where he does catch the witch and the baby dragon inside of it. Uh, Queen is gonna go ahead and aggro onto the baby dragon, and under ability he's gonna be able to take out a couple more defenses. There it goes. He's gonna get the wizard tower, and he's also gonna get the air sweeper, and he gets a couple shots on the IT. Um, and he's going to go ahead and start his Lalo over here on the uh, left-hand side, starting right below where the town hall is, uh, pre-dropping a haste over here. Uh, Hound is down. So with that kill squad, what he achieved is he took out two air defenses and a couple other air targeting uh, defenses, broke the defensive ring over there on the left-hand side where he went ahead and started his Lalo, hasting in some more loons at 1 o'clock. And look at this huge clump of loons right here. Under Rage uh, does have one skeleton spell donated, uh, that he brought uh, a Max Skeleton spell in the clan castle, but even that was still not enough to get to that queen. She ended up hopping over the wall out where the skellies went out of the rage. Um, she gets really, really low though. Her health gets really, really low. Hasted in some more loons over there at three o'clock uh, where he had one more rage just to try to beat through the rest of these defenses uh, down here at the bottom where he does have two archer towers, an expo, and one more, uh, one more inferno tower. But check this out. Um, Queen sees pups, instead of taking out all those loons, she aggroes onto the minions and the pups. They say, we're not having it, and the minions and the pups end up taking out the queen. Uh, but a beautiful attack from Tadpole. Again, guys, getting eight 10v10 three stars this war. Um, as far as 10v10's best performance we've had in a few wars, we've been averaging around five to six or so. Um, but yeah, eight was huge allowing us a couple 11v11 attempts. Um, yeah, huge shout out to our Town Hall 10s. And we had Tadpole doing a CB Lalo on that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out one attack. This is actually going to be uh, from Rock right here. Uh, um, attacking on Boom Shakalaka. But check out, like I always tell you guys, with Rock, <laughs> the funnels. It's all about the funnels, guys. If you haven't figured it out by now. This dude, his funnels are are so badass. Uh, I'm telling you, the way he breaks down a base, it's out of control. A uh, wizard and a minion over here on the left has a baby dragon. Uh, just check this out. I need to do like a special video with him just on how he sets these funnels. Uh, okay, so right here drops down, what, three? Yeah, he's got three uh, giants, another baby dragon to help out with this funnel. Check this out though, look at the value from his queen. He's taking out one Tesla. He's gonna go ahead and take out another Tesla. Uh, Baby Dragon's actually gonna get that Archer Tower. Queen's gonna get an, the other Archer Tower. She's not done yet, guys. She is not done yet. Just gonna go ahead and beat through this storage. Under ability, he's gonna get uh, a, a Wizard Tower and yes, another Archer Tower. And right here, so obviously the the whole uh, upper, uh, the whole top side of this base has been funneled. But check this out. Hasting in uh, about, f what did he have? Four to five loons taking out those three defenses. And look at what is left. Nowhere for the troops to go but inside the base. Uh, completely carved out the top side and over there on the far right hand side at three o'clock. Um, went ahead and uh, broke in with wall breakers. Uh, jump spell down to get to both of the expos, the wizard tower, the archer tower, the enemy archer queen. 
uh, did, did bring bowlers in the clan castle uh, where he does have a heal spell for them. And look at the value. And look at the value he's getting from these rock skips, taking out the expos, starting hogs down here on the bottom right hand side, um, and then over at about what is that? Over at about four o'clock, bringing eighteen hogs where he has two heal spells for them. And look at his bowlers are still going. His bowlers are still going. They broke through the wall. They're even going to get that infernal tower on the back end. Uh, and he's going to have one more heal spell to catch those hogs uh, from the damage that came from the bomb tower. Uh, but beautiful attack started. Clean up nice and early. We're going to go ahead and times this. Uh, but I I'm sorry. That attack was just straight up badass. Uh, how he went ahead and carved in both of those sides um, and did it for pretty cheap too. Beautiful attack. Um from rock on that one okay now we go ahead and jump up we're gonna check out my attack on no we're gonna check out zongo we're gonna check out zongo the first of the the 10 v 10 um six packers here so we got zongo gonna be doing this one with um uh with just valkyries just valkyries uh a few of us are doing this attack um uh, from this war and it is a really strong attack bringing four heal spells uh, only one rage spell, so there's no jumps on, on this attack. So what you essentially what you do is you just set a cheap funnel. Um, you set a cheap funnel with some wizards. Uh, we did know that there was a hound in the CC, so we're gonna go ahead and sack queen down here at the bottom where she took out those two defenses. But here we go. We have king coming in, Valkyries and wall breakers under rage. Look at what's gonna happen to this top compartment right here. Uh, these wall breakers under rage and the Valkyries literally. Uh, it, it seems like they one shot look at wait till you guys see once the spells clear out what his kill squad did to that upper compartment up there um, where, where his king is gonna go ahead and get that inferno tower and sending in about 30 hogs into this base sharing four heal spells uh, it is complete devastation uh, he's gonna go ahead and drop his CC hogs down here on that archer tower uh, where we do know there is a Tesla farm uh, and you'll see King, uh, enemy King is doing some work onto the hogs, but he is saving that poison spell uh, for any of the ground skellies. And you'll see right here has one more heal spell to deploy. Uh, uh, and it was nice that he caught that giant bomb that was right next to that expo there. Uh, has one more heal spell and only a few more defenses uh, to get through. Uh, but he's gonna get good value because he dropped it right on top of that bomb tower and Other than that there was no more giant bombs all these defenses were only one tile away from each other But that's what I was talking about look at this compartment right here just completely gutted uh, With the wall breakers and the Valkyries under rage d did not need to bring a jump uh, and end up taking out enemy queen uh, But huge shout out to Zongo again. He did have a, a 10 v 10 six pack this war So I want to show him some love Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out my attack. So we got two more. We're going to check out my attack and Cody's attack. And then we're going to go and look at um, our 11v11 three-star. So this was the attack that I did on base number 16. Uh, and this one doing... I, I, was li I was liking the Valks this war. I was liking the Valks this war. Uh, I saw a lot of successful attacks using it. Um, but on this one, I go ahead and this is going to be a CB entry. No bowlers, though. Uh, we do know that there is a hound uh, that's going to be coming out and we weren't going to get as much value <coughs> uh, with the bowlers, especially with all the splash in here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, set the funnel with the queen up there at the top, golem down to help tank for her, and we dropped on one baby dragon to set the funnel. So again, we're just queen and a baby dragon, we set the funnel. Uh, jumping straight in, that jump gives us access to four different compartments, uh, and yeah, we brought eight Valkyries on this attack. Uh, nice rage to push all the troops right there into the core. Um, where they're not going to get, they're not going to get the Inferno Tower, but the most important thing was, is they gutted out the core and took out all of the Teslas in there, which really screws up hog pathing. So you can clearly see the defense, uh, the defensive ring has been broke, uh, went ahead and did a two finger drop on the two defenses up there at one o'clock and we have CC hogs meeting up, um, with the bit, with the initial group right on top of these wizard towers. We dropped on one heal spell, another heal spell to catch the wizard tower, the cannon and the expo and you'll see right here uh, ground skellies are out but we did save one poison for them 
And we have one more heal spell to deploy. There it goes. That one's catching the Inferno Tower, uh, which is on multi-target. So that's going to heal the hogs right through it. Uh, and we're going to get a really, really nice split right here between these two hogs. Uh, we still have a whole bunch up, uh, but these are going to split between the Tesla and the Archer Tower, uh, which is going to help uh, absorb you know, some of that damage from the Wizard Tower instead of attacking all the hogs only attacking a few of them and that i mean that was pretty much it uh, again a cheap funnel just a baby dragon and sacking the queen uh, over there um on the upper right hand side uh but yeah that was one of my 10 10s and then i had a 10 v 10 on another account uh but yeah awesome awesome war for myself and not to mention we got eight this war eight 10 v 10s we're gonna get through one more um which one was it uh this attack no, it's not that one. I'm going to show you guys this one right here um, on number 10. This is their, their uh, what are the, I mean, the, the 10s went up to number 6, but this was obviously a fully maxed uh, town hall, uh, fully maxed defense, um, which would be a tier, this is a tier 3 uh, under the new system. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have uh, Cody. Cody's going to be attacking this space. And again, doing a, 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 a CB entry, not a lot of shattered. We were seeing a lot of shattered kill squad um, hobos or mass hog attacks, uh, Town Hall 10. But for some reason, uh, it almost seems like there's a shift between uh, shattered and just bringing one golem, meaning cold blooded, uh, not only at Town Hall 9, but you know at, at the Town Hall 10 level. Uh, so he went ahead and brought his own. He does have Max Hogs or me coming uh, out of the clan castle, but we have been seeing a couple attacks where we're bringing maxed golems in the CC. It almost seems like a max golem is doing the same thing that two are, as long as you can set a, a tight funnel only bringing one golem. But we got uh, three heal spells on this attack. Already deployed one of them over at three o'clock. Nice heal spell up here at 12. Uh, does still have a few defenses to get through. He's going to be ending on a wizard tower. So you're going to see he's going to be nice and patient. Uh, with this, uh, with his third and final heal spell, uh, the hogs are going to go ahead and beat through that wizard tower. And right here, we have a bomb tower, uh, the single IT with some with some with uh, some bombs, and two Teslas. So you want to talk about heal spell value? He's going to be ending on a wizard tower and went ahead and dropped his poison as the hound. Unfortunately, somehow, don't even know, but somehow that the the hound popped, uh, and all defenses are down. Uh, and that was another thing that we were doing on our attacks. Uh, he didn't bring one on this one, looking at the troop bar. Uh, but bring a miner, definitely bring a miner. Uh, luckily, he got through the base fast enough, uh, but he had you know well over a minute to do the cleanup. Um, but on like on one of my other 10v10s and a couple other ones that we're not gonna be able to watch, uh, we went ahead and brought a miner once the once the hogs completely clear, you know two-thirds of, of the defenses go ahead and drop a miner to get a miner on all those structures inside um uh where you know where wizards and goblins and stuff can't reach okay so those were our those were our 10 v 10s we're gonna be featuring we're gonna be showing um chris's aka uh poor self-control we're gonna be showing his 11 v 11 three star and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up guys um but yeah this determined the war and that's what i was telling you if this war is any indication of what is going to, uh, if this war is any indication of what Premier is going to be like, it is going to be so lit um, where, I mean, as long as you're getting those 10 v 10s, um, but this war would have come down 2% if we didn't have this 11 v 11 three star, considering both sides cleared um, all 15 town hall 10s that were on the map. Um, but yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be really really interesting. And the same thing happened um, in our preseason war um, last week. Same thing, uh, and it was the it was the the final against Los Colosos. Same, it was the same, a hundred and one to a hundred. So yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting season. Um, but yeah, so on this one, Chris went ahead and started his queen over there at three o'clock. She walked down uh, to six where he's uh, where he met her up with just a kill squad from hell. I don't even know. He's got, has to have, what, 18, maybe 20 bowlers in here. Uh, Pop Grand Warner Billy as they're approaching. Uh, all the Splash, the Eagle, the Inferno Tower. He has uh, a few of the healers even peeled off of the Queen, which is going to help out uh, those bowlers that decided to go into the core. Uh, these ones over here are going to uh, kind of peter out. Um, but you can already tell he still has one more Rage. 
and he has both of his hero abilities. And yes, both heroes are 50-50. He's been farming his ass off uh, to get there. Uh, you can see that because he's gotten, what, 10,000 troops received already. Um, you're welcome. But yeah, so he went ahead and popped uh, King Ability to get through uh, a couple of these high HP buildings and uh, that Archer Tower up there. And again, it's, I mean, there's still quite a bit left, but just look, it's just, uh, it's just trash. This whole upper ring up here uh, is just trash. The only defense left is, is that little old Wizard Tower, which he will be ending on. Poor Wizard Tower just got completely wrecked. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that does bring us, we're, uh, that was our three preseason wars ending. Um, we had a loss against, uh, uh, J okay, we had a loss against j -Off. And then we beat Los Colosos, 101 to 100. And then now we beat Gahazi Bomber, 2, 101 to 100. Um, but yeah, Premier, look out, guys. Premier is going to be incredible. Uh, and that starts in, I think, just a few weeks. But yeah, that's all the preseason wars, at least on our end, ending at 2 and 1. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to be getting to building. We're going to be doing some arranged wars until uh, the se uh, season 4 comes around. But. Until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed the attacks featured. It was a lot of fun uh, warring these guys. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, um, make sure you leave a like. Uh, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And a huge shout out to all the guys and girls over in Gehazi Bomber 2. Um, as always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.